All right. So we got Losers Finals, and Quid, who was uh, just on commentary before, uh, is is going to take on Soul Arts, who just beat Swigzy in Losers Semis in a very in a pretty close game, pretty close set. And so uh, Quid did beat Soul Arts in I think it was Winners Semis, uh, but uh, this this set did happen, and and Quid did win it, and Sean is coming back with uh, a revenge. And we see there, uh, had a really great up smash punish, but shield art is shield art. Okay, he does not have his double jump, and Sean is unable to get the edge guard. Yeah, Sean, uh, he was telling me on Discord that his lesson of the night is to learn the Steve matchup. Uh, this is his chance to kind of show what he learned from the first set. <laughs> and uh, um, that's probably not, doesn't want to get spiked like that. He's, he's got to learn how to uh, respect Steve's aerials because they come out real fast and they're very hard to punish. And even in disadvantage, you can just uh, throw him out and hurt you. Okay, but he's got some good buster hits coming off right now. Whoa, whoa, okay, that was like, <laughs> yo, that that looked a lot like the turbo mode in 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 the turbo mod in Smash. The way he was uh, hitting like three up tilts and then a fair, like that that seemed like a true combo that right there on Shield Art. Um, that's gonna kill. Oh yeah. All right, yeah, uh, the way he neutral get up there was uh, pretty predictable. Oh man, it looks like Shield Art's not really helping him out right now. Quid just already knows how to true combo him when he's at Shield. Okay, if, if Sean can yet grab him, put it on... Oh, no. Okay. Because all Sean really needs right now is to get quit in disadvantage, activate that smash heart, and, and cover Steve's recovery options, which can be pretty linear at times. Uh, but, you know, that down till will take it. But that was a lot closer than most of the games that they were having in winners before. So it looks like Sean is slowly but surely adapting and learning the matchup. But of course, uh, in a set like this that's pretty high level, it's not just about the matchup, it's about the player. And both these players are phenomenal in their own right with their own fundies. And so it's also more of a game of wits than it is about the matchup. They run it back to PS2. And we're seeing definitely some defensive play here. Neither player wants to lose. Both of them want to get into Grands, which is where Ling Ling is waiting. Yeah, shield, uh, Steve's shield pressure on platform is just so good. Oh, and there we can see it, the anvil into back air again. And that's what did the kill confirm, the last kill on Sean in, in their last set. Oh, wow. Smash hard back air almost killing Steve there. Okay. Uh, that was a very weird interaction. I don't even know what to say about that. Quid is, is, is mixing up his landing a lot. Like, Steve as a character seems like he would have a pretty hard time landing with his, uh, really bad aerials. Uh, that, that all happened way too fast for me to even commentate that. I am sorry. 
I, I, I can't even tell you what happened there. Uh, but we're moving on because Sean still ended up losing that. Uh, even though he could have, he could have definitely gotten out of that situation. Okay, so it looks like he can punish Minecart pretty well with Air Slash if he times it right. Okay, good. Good reaction on the roll. We're gonna keep this nice and even. Oh, how many jabs can I get on Shield Art? Oh, he's gonna carry him throughout the entire stage, even on Shield Art. How is Sean going to take care of this, honestly? Like, he can be patient all he wants, but, like, the, the moment he makes a miscalculation on, on Quid's shield, like, he's just going to get demolished. Yeah, the, the lingering hitbox of that minecart is so easy to get thrown out by. Okay, nice down tilt. And he gets the kill. Great frame trap there with up air and up tilt. That's just going to cover everything. So Sean has the lead now. And let's see if he can uh, avoid getting killed by a straight back air. And if he can keep building on his lead. Oh, I really thought that back air would have hit. But the minecart was just fast enough that he got past and whip punished the back here. Okay, Quid's got the diamond on, on lock. And he's looking for a combo. He's looking for a kill, probably. Even at this percent, Quid can do something really good with a spike. Okay, jab, jab, jab. How many times? Sean finally jumps out at 60. The air dodge. Jab lock. None of it works. Dude, how many jabs has Sean gotten hit by? Okay, I really like how Steve's up B low profiles, even chokes back air. That was pretty cool. Or not cool, depending on which player you are. Yeah, he took his jump. Uh, jump art, up B is not gonna take him back. Man, this, uh, I don't know, this has been a lot closer, but at the same time, Quid is just like, he knows exactly what to do. Especially when Shulk is in disadvantage. We've seen him kill Sean at ledge with down tilt, with anvil into back air, with pickaxe forward air spikes. We've seen it all. So let's, let's try to see if Sean can at least not get 3 0 Yeah, I feel like you just can't you can't release your shield while Steve is spamming those tilts on you. You gotta figure something else out. There's a lot happening, but also not a lot happening because, well, right there. Okay, that's why he's gonna take the stock. Because uh, with the, he could have taken Sean's stock earlier with the same up smash. Ooh. Okay. That that was a pretty good extension by Sean. Just throwing out that forward air, knowing that uh, Quid was gonna try to uh, delay his his landing. I think Air Slash is just going to be a great out of shield option against uh, Steve. Because I think he can even punish up tilt if he reacts properly. Oh, that was an interesting trade.
Okay, he's got Buster out. He's got the pressure out. Another trade with the minecart. I mean, in this case, uh, you would not ever want to trade with minecart. Even if it's a trade, you would not want to trade with it. Because minecart almost always puts you at a really bad spot. Whether you get, you know, caught by it or just, you know, hit by it. Because it sends you pretty far. Okay, Solaris had the right idea there with, with the up air. He got him with the first hit, but the first hit doesn't kill. It's the second hit. And again, it was a trade with minecart. So... It's probably better not to try to, you know, hit him while he's on the minecart, but more to hit him when he gets off the minecart. And that <laughs> is much, much harder than it seems. But either way, this is an even game. Not an even set, but it's an even game. And with Buster, he's going to predict Quid's uh, get off me options very well. He's going to build up 74 damage. Uh... But it's Quid's turn now. It's Quid's turn. Oh! Oh! Look at the combos! Oh, if he had just thrown out an up tilt there instead of a jab, he could have continued. That's gonna be a kill. Oh my god. He, he pretty much killed him with the same thing that he uh, he killed Ling Ling before in, in game, 